Christmas. Welcome to the 5050 show. I'm Jess and I'm Isa. Today we're going to talk about group free subjects which are humanities and include subjects such as economics, philosophy, history, psychology, and business studies. at higher level and um, I did it from starting from GCSE and um, in the first part of year 12 you would think it's a, like a revision course because most of the stuff you've learned already in GCSE like um, scarcity uh, allocation of resources but we're learning it in a higher level so then we learn more about PPFs possible production possibility frontiers like how we allocated different resources to different people and um, um, I am a new student of economics. I only started it in IB higher level. Um, with economics, you don't have to have a background in it because you start from the beginning learning introduction to economics and you go into more uh, detailed stuff like microeconomics, macroeconomics, international trade. Um, so even though I didn't take it in GCSE, uh, at times it is challenging, but if you have a true passion for it, like I do, then it's not that hard. and. Um, it is actually very interesting because the world revolves around economics and especially now with the economic recession it's it's interesting to learn how that actually happened in the first place yeah and uh, we learned how like the goods and bads of different theories and its applicability on our like real world now and um, in terms of course outline we do um, commentaries on different um, economic articles uh, we do uh, we choose a four in total and and, and we have our final exams Justin, I'm taking uh, IB Business and Management at a higher level. So um, this is my fourth year taking a business-related subject because I took um, uh, business studies at IGCSE during year 10 and 11. So with IB Business and Management, the topics that you study, uh, they don't differ that much to GCSE, um, but there are some new topics that you haven't encountered before. You still learn the core business topics like marketing, uh, human resources, finances, things like that, but you learn it at a much greater depth than you did at GCSE. And there's much more theory, uh, you learn more theories um, involved to, to do with these topics. Um, the course outline is uh, you do one internal assessment, which is, like, uh, which is similar to coursework you did in GCSE, and you do uh, the final exams. Um, business is a is an, it's, a, it's a subject that a lot of people find interesting because businesses exist all around us and um, well I personally really like business which is why I take business and economics um, but if you're not really sure what to take for group 3 you might want to seriously consider taking business because it's a fun and interesting subject to take. Hi, I take philosophy higher level so basically, philosophy is a subject that tries to answer the big questions in life. For example, um, for example, how was the universe created or whether there's a god. The difference between higher level and standard level is in higher level, you do a philosophy of religion course, which also has something to do with Christianity and Buddhism. Whereas in the standard course, you just take ethics and the mind-body problem. I personally recommend this subject because this subject helps you improve your critical thinking and multi-perspective thinking because it requires you to think of different points of views. And personally, I don't think this subject is difficult, but you have to be interested in it and do a lot of extra reading in order, in order to succeed in this subject. So I recommend this subject. take psychology at higher level. Basically, psychology is a study of the human mind in terms of how people think, how people behave, and the actual brain, the study of the brain. And it's a subject that requires a lot of um, reading and self-study, so you must have an interest in psychology in order to succeed it as like other group four subjects. And a group three subject, sorry, and 
the theories itself is not hard because they are quite understandable and manageable. The hardest part of psychology is the exams because it is hard to get the, it's hard to get marks for each essay. But then if you learn if you learn how to write the uh, essays properly, you'll succeed in the exam. So if you have an interest in psychology, I highly recommend you to take it because it's a very interesting course and will benefit you all throughout your entire life and not just during high school. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Fixin' and blitzin' and all his reindeer pullin' on the reins. Bells are ringin', children singin', all is merry and bright. So hang your stockings and say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. He's got a bag that's filled with toys for boys and girls again. Hear those sleigh bells jingle jangle, oh what a beautiful sight. So jump in bed and cover your head, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. <laughs>